Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. It is still Monday, the 28th of June, 2021. Uh, clear, clear blue skies. Extremely, extremely hot. Uh, unbelievably hot here today uh, for us in New York. It's about 93 degrees, and it's just not real super pleasant. And there's little Miss Molly on the ground there. So before we get into this video, um, I would just like to thank everybody. First of all, um, we just hit 94,000 subscribers. So another milestone on the way up to 100,000. Uh, and it is amazing uh, to be in that position. And uh, I just wanted to take a moment and, and thank you and say how much I appreciate uh, all the subscribers and all the new subscribers that have been joining and uh, you know the channel's growing which is always a it's what 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 the goal is part of the goal right um, so thank you all I really do appreciate it um, I want to let everybody else know too that tomorrow I will be picking up Miss Heather and uh, she's going to be coming home for three four days I think something like that and uh, we're going to be doing some intensified driving because she needs to get her license because <laughs> um, I have the car over here for her as you see it there and so I would like to get her uh, you know squared away better with driving and then once we have her get her driver's license then we will put this car over here that is her new car we'll put that on the road for her um, I'm not putting it on the road until we get to that point where she actually has her driver's license so but uh so that will be that um all right so i wanted to talk about the situation down in miami i've been watching that situation um with the condo and they were saying that since the late 90s they're they've known that there have been issues with that condo that it was actually sinking and um, there was mistakes made in construction and that there was definitely issues with that condo uh, the cost to repair the condo, they were saying, was going to be about $9 million. So the first question that I would have is, uh, there's definitely, you know, a, an issue of why the people that owned it didn't get on that and start fixing that, you know, fixing the problems, knowing that there was structural damage, uh, knowing that there was issues. And, uh, you know, we had, right now, there's, what, 159 people still missing. There's been Ted... 10 people confirmed dead um, unfortunately the reality is most likely now it is a recovery mission as opposed to a uh, rescue mission uh, I would be very very surprised if they found anybody else alive especially because of the fires um, that are still burning that is hampering the search for people so with the combination of it being several days now and uh, the fires being an issue with uh, rescue missions um, and recovery, you know, look at this silly cat. Um, you know, that definitely plays a factor in that. So, unfortunately, you're looking at, uh, like I said, I do believe at this point it is definitely just a recovery mission at this point and not a rescue mission. Uh, my heart goes out to the families down there. It's got to be horrible. I just saw an article where one gentleman was talking to his wife on the phone just before the building collapsed. And so I couldn't even imagine what those families are going through. Um, but, you know, my, my condolences to uh, all those people. And they're definitely going to be in my thoughts because it's a horrible, horrible situation to have something like that happen to the people that you care about. So I definitely want to hear what your guys' thoughts on this. I now I'm going to tell you what I see huge lawsuits with this coming, uh, especially because they knew that there was damage, structural damage to the property, and that it needed repairs. And uh, you know, you're going to go back to the '90s and realize that it was sinking, and do nothing about it for 20 plus years. And uh, you know. Unfortunately, um, it's going to end up costing quite a few people their lives, and uh, that's never, never a good thing. But uh, I'd like to hear your guys' feedback on that. I mean, what do you think that the owners uh, should be charged with? Uh, you know, you know, a lot of people, unfortunately, are not going to be around. I mean, even if it was just the 10, 
it's still 10 people too many that passed away because of the situation. So, oh, and I ho I'm, hope you appreciate that I did clean the screen, the lens here, out here. Um, it, I didn't even realize, to be honest with you, until I had turned the camera around and saw, I think it was a moth, is what I believe it was, and I pulled it off and I thought it was better but it wasn't so the rest of the last video was quite blurry so I, I do apologize for that as well but uh, yeah unfortunately <laughs> that uh, that ended up being the case so she's just all chilled out it like I said even the cats are all just uh, you got buddy over there under the car in the shade uh, they are just absolutely chilled out I got a couple cats in on the bed sprawled out uh, Lucy and Max are in there and uh, they're just just chilling like a villain <laughs> so uh, very very warm uh, this heat is very very dangerous uh, so I do want people to take that into consideration especially with doing any kind of outdoor activities if you do have to be outdoors and do activities make sure you're getting enough water oh and if you see farther under the car over here I just saw her Mrs. Soxie is also under the car. See, she just heard me say something, so she just looked. But she's under the cars. I think that's Soxy. Or is that loose? Is loose outside? Oh, I don't know what. It's one of them. I thought it was Socks. But anyway, another cat under the car, sitting in the shade. But uh, anyway, uh, so, you know, with the heat the way it is, with the heat index is even hotter, uh, it is very, very dangerous. Make sure you're pu pushing your fluids, taking frequent rest. Uh, heat stroke is no joke. I have actually had heat stroke before. Uh, not a very pleasant experience at all. Um, not pleasant at all. So uh, you definitely need to take that into consideration because that'll kill you. Uh, too much and it will absolutely kill you. So definitely please be safe and please be careful with that. So really quickly, guys, I do want to mention um, my website and also the Prepper Get Together. My website, PrepperNurse1.com. We have the Prepper Nurse One community there. Uh, definitely check into that. Check it out. It is a great, res great resource for you guys to connect with like-minded people. So definitely take advantage of that. So again, PrepperNurse1.com. You'll see Prepper Nurse One community. You click on it. You do have to register. It is totally free. No credit card information is asked at all. Okay, so just putting that out there. Uh, a lot of good information on the message boards. And if you're looking for somebody in your state or country, uh, it's a good way to try to connect with people. Also on my website, if you go to PrepperNurse1.com, you will see the logo that says Four Fathers. If you click on that logo, it will take you to their website. They are a CBD and hemp store. And if you decide when you're over there to make a purchase, when you check out, make sure you use the discount code PrepperNurse1. You will save yourself 15% on your purchase if you do that. Uh, CBD products are really, really good. They help with a myriad of things. Uh, they definitely help with a lot of things. I use it myself, so I definitely recommend it for people to use. Okay. Uh, also, on my website, if you go PrepperNurse1.com, if you click on store, it will drop down and you will see Legacy Foods. It is the Legacy Freeze-Dried Foods. What we have available is there. Uh, if you are looking to, you know, have long-term food storage, it is 25-year shelf life. It is GMO-free. It is uh, gluten options are also available. It is also vegan. There are beef uh, available options, meaning beef and chicken, that you can buy separately. Uh, also, it is uh, made in the United States, so uh, and it is the largest portion size of any of the other freeze-dried food companies. So take that into consideration. Uh, I really, truly believe that we should all have freeze-dried foods in our long-term food storage just to change up the variety. They're a great thing to have, easy meal. Uh, I call it the perfect prep for the lazy prepper. Um, not that you're, if you get it, it makes you a lazy prepper, makes you smart, but uh, if you just want to get something like that, you set it aside, cool, dark place, and you don't have to worry about it. It will last for 25 years. So that's a really good thing with that. So uh, also, we are having the Prepper Get Together coming next month on the 17th and 18th of July. On the 17th, we will be at the Sonye American Legion, which is S-O-N-Y-E-A. Um, and you can look that up to find out where that is. 
and uh, we will be there it'll be open at 10 o'clock and we will have it till at least midnight and then on the Sunday we're going to be at Letchworth State Park uh, it does cost ten dollars to get into the park but well well worth it uh, we're going to be up by the pool area and again I will give you the exact pavilion name um, I still have to I still haven't grabbed my paperwork but I will do that and um, so we're gonna have a blast uh, make sure bring your swimsuits uh, go in the pool go swimming both days we are, will be doing a cookout so I will be providing hot dogs and hamburgers also I will be providing the buns ketchup mustard relish the paper products uh, paper plates paper towels uh, and the silverware so uh, I what I ask everybody to do is bring a dish to pass um, if you're coming to either day and that just you know gives other people options of something else to eat as well so uh, we're gonna have a great time it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm going to have t-shirts available which I already have them they already came in uh, for the prepper get-together okay and it says on the front of the t-shirt the second annual prepper party and it has a Viking on there and I've showed this picture of the t-shirt before I will show it again but uh, it, and on the back it says preppernurse1.com so those are going to be available for fifteen dollars so um, not trying to beat you guys up obviously so uh, it's going to be a lot of fun we're going to have a great time so I'm looking forward to meeting everybody and enjoying some get-togethers you know and, and uh, enjoying the company of fellow preppers and uh, we'll have a lot of fun so anyway um, I am going to jump off of here I hope everybody is doing well I hope you guys have had um, a good start to your week I hope the heat hasn't been too bad for people like I said I know um, out west it has been brutal for you guys uh, this is bad enough for us uh, being in the 90s is no fun okay <laughs> so uh, being down um, out in Seattle in Oregon in uh, in uh, dealing with the heat out there hey enough dealing with the heat out there um, no fun whatsoever so uh, please be safe again make sure you're pl pushing your fluids and make sure you're getting out of that inclement you know weather um, as much as you possibly can be all right guys remember we are all in this together we are one race called the human race and I said as soon as we can figure that out um, and stop letting them manipulate us we're gonna be in much much better shape uh, stop letting them divide us by politics by race by religion uh, we're gonna be better off if we work together and band together uh, they would definitely have to give in to our demands and what we want uh, otherwise they just do continue to do whatever they want keep us fighting each other and they win that's how it works also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love tell them every single day tomorrow is not guaranteed we never know what's gonna happen in life so it's really really important that you tell the people that you care about every single day how you feel last but not least STD step thing and day Okay, guys, hold on a second because I'm going to holler. Hey, knock it off. Sorry. All right. Pandora. And then there's Hella. All right, um, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to accomplish, whatever you are trying to do, you can do it the only one that can stop you from reaching those goals is you that's it nobody else can stop you stay positive stay away from the negativity and you're gonna be just fine alright just don't let negativity get you down um, they want you to fail they want you to be miserable like they're miserable choose to be happy instead it's a much better place to be it really really truly is uh, again just stay focused and you're gonna be fine Set your goals and then set around to making them happen. And realistic goals, obviously. All right? I will see you all later. I hope everybody has a great day. And once again, um, thank you for helping me get to 94,000 subscribers. Uh, it has been an amazing journey. It's been very, very interesting. Um, and I do appreciate all of you following the channel. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.